What's going on, amazing people? My name is Michelle Farley, michellefarley.com, and I want to welcome you to the creative parlor here on YouTube. This is a space for creators of all types, so whether you're a writer, a poet, a singer, an artist, uh, a musician, whatever it is, this is a place for you to gain resources, to get inspiration, and hopefully leave a little bit better than you did when you first arrived. If this is your first time here, I want to welcome you. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you stay around. This is installment number two of my four part series on how to start a business in four weeks. So if you're ready to get started, let's go. So as you can see, I changed up a little bit and I'm not at my desk. I want to switch things up. Let me know in the comments if you like this backdrop. I'm still working on some more, adding some more art to the wall, but if you like it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up or um, you know, let me know what do you think about this aesthetic so far in the, in the comments with an emoji. I would love to hear from you. All right, let's get started. So week two is all about the setup. This is where you can get really creative about building your brand. How do you want yourself to show up? How do you want your business to show up? Um, and so the first step is all about the logo. How will you incorporate what you do, your values, uh, your aspirations, your colors, like all of that, um, putting that all together to come up with a brand logo design that really reflects not only who you are as a person, but what your business means to the world. Um, again, you could hire a graphic designer, um, you can work with a branding firm, um, but on the lower scale of doing things DIY, you can also look online for some um, gr um, graphic design programs that are user friendly that you can do and that you can use um, to design your own your own um, logo. Um, so for some of my logos, I've definitely used Canva um, to create something um, that I feel that was professional. Um, it was kind of moderate and sleek, didn't take a lot of time, but still got the um, still got the message across. Um, so you can check out Canva. They have like literally hundreds of designs you can choose from, all these different elements, colors, background colors, um, and, or you can just start from start from scratch actually and, just, and do it yourself so canva is an easy solution for diy creative entrepreneurs like yourself so so be sure to look in the description box below i'll have a detailed description of what canva can offer you and a link um where you can check out what they have to offer so the second step this week only really applies if you're thinking about having a brick and mortar building or a physical space where you're going to have your business so you can even decide to purchase a building and have a standalone building for just your business you could share a space or you can even sell your product um, in a store that is already existing um, there are many people who make you know some type of um maybe t-shirts or um, candles and they sell on consignment to stores uh, that are already established um, you know, and just getting their products in different, you know, different stores throughout their city, throughout their state that way. If you are considering any of those options, first you have to make sure that the traffic that they're, that they're receiving is the same type of traffic that's going to um, meet your product or your service. You also want to think about traffic. Is it a hassle to get to where you are to get your product? And if you're just starting out, do you think your clientele will, will, would, uh, be willing to be inconvenienced to get to you. If not, you may want to reconsider where you are located. Um, is it easy to get to on both sides of the street? I know here in Columbus, we have a lot of um, construction happening where high rises are being, homes are being built, um, condos are being built, um, stores, shopping malls, all these different things. And so for me, I know um, sometimes like coming home in the evening, if there's a lot of traffic um, and I have a choice between one particular grocery store on this side of the street and another grocery store on the other side of the street, I'm going to the one that has the less traffic for the less headache. Um, so the same rules apply to your business, just making sure like morning traffic, evening traffic, weekend traffic, will people um, be up to the challenge of dealing with, um, of dealing, dealing with like, um, traffic and any other kind of inconvenience to get to your store you also want to consider parking is it off-street parking is there a parking lot is there covered parking 
all those different things are really going to speak to the type of clients, I mean, clients or customers that you have. Um, and if you are, you know, selling like a high end product, you want to make sure the people that are coming in to see you, whether it's a physical product or a digital product or a service that you're selling, um, if especially if it's like a, um, you know, a more on the higher end, you want to make sure that those small conveniences, although small, are very powerful and mighty to your potential customers and clients, right? So no one wants to look for parking for 30 minutes, but um, you know, covered parking may cost you a little bit more, but you will also reap the benefit of having those kind of high quality clients. So there's just small things like that that you should, you should consider. So day three of week two, this is a time where you also need to start building up your website. Think about, uh, you know, what are you selling? Did who, what, when, where, and why? This doesn't have to be a 10 page website. It can be a simple website about, about you, what you sell, how you help, how they get in contact with you, how can they make a purchase, all right? So this could be a basic, you know, three to five page website. Um, again, you could hire a, a web designer, graphic designer uh, to build up your website and even hire a copywriter to create your content. Um, you can also do DIY it again and write your own content uh, and um, build your own website. You can use GoDaddy, you can use Wix, you can use Squarespace. Um, there are countless online um, uh, um, programs that you can use uh, to help you build your website. Again, if you have any questions about those types of um, website uh, designs, be sure to look in the description box below. I'll have um, more details about that and links that you can go to to do your own research on what would work best for you and your business. So this is where the grown up stuff happens this week. You need to register your business with your state agency. So um, for instance, I live in the state of Ohio. Um, I really normally register my business at an LLC. Um, there are different types of entities. Again, I'm not a lawyer, so I won't tell you which one that you should do. You can do a social proprietorship you can do a corporation you can do an escort uh there's just they run the gamut right so make sure you've done your so by now you should have done your research and you decided on uh um a business license that's going to work for you and your business you're also going to have to get a tax id number unless you want to use social security number social security number and that's a whole nother something else <laughs> so again uh just make sure that you have your ducks in a row and that you know um for sure for certain for certain um how you want to incorporate your business um for our state of ohio i know that you you know you pay your money and within, you should be like within like a couple of weeks or so, you would receive your business um, certificate. They used to mail them uh, when I started my first business back in like 2007. But now you'll get um, a digital copy of your um, of your business um, license and uh, uh, any other kind of art articles of like incorporation. So it, it may take a little bit longer. Trademarks and other things like that are it's separate from just a regular business license. Um, so I know within the state of Ohio, I know within like a week or so I had, um, I received an email with my, um, LLC. Um, they also do a search to make sure that the name that you're using is not already taken. Um, but again, that's some research that you also should have done because it is possible that it, things can get slipped through the cracks. So you, again, just want to make sure that you, um, you know, have done your due diligence before you uh, register for your business. That brings us to a county. Now, there are, again, many different options for entrepreneurs, creative entrepreneurs. So you can decide to hire a part-time accountant and they will help you, you know, get set up. And then, you know, they'll have like these estimated quarterly um, payments that you'll have to make. Or you can use um, an accounting system like um, TurboTax or QuickBooks. Uh, any of those um, types of softwares will help you um, kind of establish your um, your business taxes and, and you know your payments. So you do what's best for you. I personally have an accountant um, because I I it's not my ministry, and so I I leave it to the professionals. And so the last big system that you need to start thinking about this week is your project management system. That is um, going to help you stay organized, stay on top of things, make sure that everything is where you're supposed to be. Okay, so you dot it every dot, you cross it every t. Uh, so there are a plethora of project manager systems that you have to do your own research uh, to figure out which one works for you. I use 17 Hat 
hats and I've used 17 hats now for the last couple of years. Um, it is, uh, it has a great onboarding system for me. It's great for um, potential customers and I can send them questionnaires. Uh, each individual that signs up um, through my project management system is given their own um, login information. I'm able to upload their documents to that. And it helps everyone to kind of stay on track as far as like timelines. Um, it's just been very beneficial to me. Um, so I have more information about them in the description box. Again, you do not have to use them for 17 hats. Um, there's also mondays.com, uh, there's Basecamp, there's uh, Airtable, there's so many, so many, all right? So one, make sure you find the one that not only suits your needs, but also um, matches your budget or your budget as of right now. All right, so these are your marching orders for week two. You have right now, you're gonna establish a logo. If you're thinking about having your business in a physical space, you're researching where you want that location to be in your area, you're building your website, you're also thinking about um, uh, the, the timeline and when you can get your business license filed and received. You're also gonna set up your accounting system, whether that is with an actual accountant or you're gonna do it your own with something like a QuickBooks or tax uh, or TurboTax. And lastly, you're gonna come up with a project management solution system that works for you, all right? <sighs> Just breathe it on out, breathe it on out. This is from the time that people start to feel a little bit of anxiety, but don't worry. Again, like I said in the beginning, all of this doesn't have to be done in week two, all right? So give yourself some, give yourself some grace, give yourself some time, take a deep breath, take little chunks and get it done, all right? And look at this, we're halfway there, this is week two. So hopefully you've watched week one, you've watched week two, you're on your way to starting your business in the next two weeks, all right? So hope you found this video helpful. If so, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Again, if you like in the background, want me to add some other stuff, give me some suggestions in the, um, in the comment section below. If you started your business, let me also know if that took you like, did it take you two weeks or four weeks or are you still, you know, doing little by little, just start it and just start adding on little by little? Let me know in the comments. Again, my name is Michelle Farley. Uh, so next time we speak, I wish you peace, joy, and blessings, love, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.